Okay, let's sketch the graph of f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 on this side. Okay. Here are the steps um, that we need to follow para mas sketch natin yung graph ng polynomial function na to. First one is we need to determine the end behavior. End behavior behavior. And uh, you can review the previous video for this. Ito yung end behavior natin. This one. Yan. Okay? And then, number two is we need to look for the zeros. Zeros. Okay. Kailangan natin i-factor ito para makuha yung zeros. And then, for number three, um, let's look for the y-intercept kasi yung zeros x-intercept. Okay. Oh. They are actually the same. Um, let me clarify this. Kailan ginagamit yung zeros? Kailan yung roots? Kailan yung x-intercept? Okay? Kapag polynomial equation, for instance, ito, ito equation na ito, x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Sinolve mo yung mga possible values of x. Ang tawag dun, roots or solution. Pero, kapag naka-function form siya, zeros ang tawag. Kapag, in terms of graph, yung tinamaan ng graph mo sa x-axis, that those are the x-intercepts. So, parang ang analogy natin na, um, equation, equation is to roots, roots for function, for function. Tawag natin zeros. Okay? Then, we we'll need to look for the y-intercept. Intercept or y-intercept. Uh, y-intercept is the value of your function when x is 0. And then the fourth one, ah, so we need to add 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 few points. Few points. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm going to explain later bakit kailangan natin mag-add ng uh, several points. And number four, we need to, eh, to sketch, sketch na. Let's sketch the graph. Okay, sorry. Let's sketch the graph. Okay. Now, let me copy the function again. On this side, we have f of x is equal to um, x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. Let's determine the end behavior. Okay. Yung degree... The degree is 3, and this is odd. And the leading coefficient, let me have LC as the leading coefficient. LD, lead, LC means leading coefficient. Uh, leading coefficient is positive. Positive. Okay? You can review your notes. This is end behavior. So, kapag meron tayong odd and then positive. So, the graph falls to the left and rises to the right. So, yung itsura niya. It falls to the left and rises to the right. Okay, the graph. The graph falls to the left and rises to the right. Okay, ngayon yung rough sketch para lang may palat ng tayo mamaya. So, if it falls to the left and rises to the right, roughly, uh, ganito yung sketch natin. Okay. So, yan. Para may reference lang tayo mamaya. Number two is to factor this. So, gawin natin, mag-synthetic division tayo. Two yung last, yung uh, constant term niya. So, mga possible divisors na ay positive negative one and positive negative two. Let's try uh, positive one muna. Positive one. So, we have... Sorry, the game na natin yung function. So let's write the function first. We have f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. Let's try um, 1. So we have 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, if you don't know how to do synthetic division, you can watch the previous video. 
So I bring down 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2, uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, and this is 0. So yeah, this is a 0, 1 is a 0, therefore x minus 1 is a factor. You may try 1 again, huh? but this time let's try negative 1, negative 1. So bring down 1, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, 3 times 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and it's 0. Yeah, okay. So negative 1, negative 1 is a 0, therefore x plus 1 is a factor. Then, uh, ito, linear na ito. So you have x plus 2. So we have x plus 2. Uh, titigil na kayo kapag dalawa na lang to kasi this is your linear term, this is your constant term. So this is the factored form of your of our function. And if you will notice, lahat ito ay odd multiplicity. Odd multiplicity, ibig sabihin, kung odd multiplicity yon, everything will, uh, we will just cross sa lahat ng, ng zeros. Okay, crossing lang. Kung even yun, so bounce. Since add lahat sila, 1. 1 yung multiplicity. So, mag ko cross sa lahat. Okay? And then, the third thing that we need to do is we need to add little few points pa. Let's add more points para mas maganda yung sketch natin. Okay? Kung mapansin nyo, yung mga x-intercept natin ay nasa Sorry, x-intercepts. x-intercepts. x-intercepts natin. Tingnan lang to. So, yung mga zeros natin, 1. So, we have, we have an x-intercept. Hindi mga tatamaan sa x-axis. Actually, x-intercepts ay in numbers. Ha? Don't, don't get confused with that. Yung x-intercepts, numbers lang yan. So, inter, ang x-intercepts natin ay 1, negative 1, at saka negative 2. Pero, tinamaan... Yung graph tumama sa x-axis natin at 1, 0, uh, negative 1, 0, at saka sa negative 2, 0. Let's determine the y-intercept. The y-intercept. So for y-intercept, um, let's set x to 0. Let's go back to the function. Our f of x is equal to this one. X cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. So, okay, dito, natin, dito na lang natin isolve. So, this will, if we substitute 0 here, 0 na to. This is also 0. This is also 0. So, we have negative 2. So, our y-intercept is negative 2. So, tatama yung graph natin at point 0, negative 2. Let's add some few points. Okay. Let's add some few points. I suggest yung mga numbers na nasa dulo at saka nasa pagitan ng mga zeros natin and yung mga magandang uh, points na gamitin. So, let's try negative 3. And let's try, ano ba, 0. So, alam, ah, 0 mela, negative 2. Okay na yung 0, negative 2. Uh, let's try between negative 1 and negative 2 pwede pwede ni try on let's try negative uh, positive 2 kasi nasa after ng 1 so let's substitute negative 3 f of negative 3 gamitin na natin yung factored form the factored form is x minus 1 x plus 1 x plus 2 so x minus 1 so we have negative 3 minus 1 oh, let me write first the function f of x is equal to x minus 1, x plus 1, and x plus 2. So let's substitute negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 plus 1 times negative 3 plus 2. So we have negative 4 times is negative 4. This is negative 2. This is negative 1. So negative 4 times negative 2, that's positive 8 times negative 1. That's negative 8. Uh, let's have f of 2. So we have 2 minus 1, 2 plus 1, and then 2 plus 2. So we have 2 minus 1, that's 1. 2 plus 2, that's 3. 2 plus 2, that's 4. 4 times 3, it's 12. Okay, so I think uh, enough points natin to sketch the graph of our polynomial function. 
and uh, let me draw here the Cartesian plane. So this is your this is your y axis and this is your x axis. Let's plot first the intercepts. So the intercepts tayo sa uh, negative oh, so one zero yeah, this is calibration one zero okay so we have at one zero so this here is one zero and then we have at negative one zero here negative one zero and then we have at negative two zero negative two zero now let's plot the additional points na kinuha natin yung y intercept is at zero negative two um zero negative two so here is zero negative two this one tama? zero negative two and then we also identified some other points negative three negative eight negative three and then we have negative eight let's have some other points here then it's three four five six seven eight nine so uh, we have negative three and negative eight negative three and negative eight is here and then we have uh, two twelve Oh, let's pretend this is 12. Okay, na yan. so let's have this as 12. So we have 2. At 2, we have 12. Okay. Now, from the end behavior, yung end behavior yung gamitin natin para mas sketch. Sabi dito, the end behavior, it falls to the left and rises to the right. So parang ganito yung equation natin. Pero kailangan tamaan natin lahat ng points na sinet natin. Sorry. Yan. Kailangan... Tamaan lahat ng points na sinet. Okay, so let's graph. It falls to the left. So, connect natin to. It falls to the left. Okay. And now, um, since kailangan natin ng um, smooth, hindi siya pwedeng dumaretso agad dito. So, lagyan natin ng curve papunta sa kanya. So, it's a first turn and then tatama dito. Okay. Tama siya doon. Sorry. Tama siya doon. And then we'll go up. Go up. Okay. 